Welcome to Massive Beer Reviews. We do the beer stuff here, but sometimes we do non-beer stuff. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've been looking forward to this day for a very, very long time. What day is today? Today's Malort Day. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to phrase all this. So, I have never had Malort before. Okay? But I have lived vicariously through other people and their experiences with Malort. It's kind of like, um... You know, you know if you've heard a story enough, and then eventually you just kind of feel like you own it a little bit, like you just you never experience it, but you're like, I've heard this story enough to where I, I, I'm like I'm in, I'm in on, I'm in on this experience, even though you haven't experienced. That's kind of how I feel about Malort, um, because everything about it just it, it, it just beautifully encapsulates everything I enjoy about booze. Um, so one of my favorite uh, magazines I've been subscribed to them way before I started doing a beer channel is called Modern Trucking Magazine. Um, they had their fair share of Malort covered. So I've, un I've known about this liquor for a very, very long time. And with the, you know, a, a rise of the internet, you know, you kind of, at least somebody that like circles or um, the kind of beer slash liquor world, uh, it's always been something that I really wanted to try. And it's just something I just never got my hands on. And, you know, you know, with the beer world kind of blossoming and Chicago kind of getting their comeuppance when it comes to beer, it's always been something that's been on the, on the, on the cusp of my radar. But again, not something I've ever been privy to drinking. Until this past week, my buddy George, boy George, my buddy George, not boy George. Um, yeah, my boy George. My boy George, not the Karma Chameleon George, but anyway. Uh, he went to Chicago. I said, uh, Malort and hot dogs. And he said, I'm going to bring you back a bottle. He brought me back a bottle. Thank you very much, George Frank, if this happened. I am beyond stoked. Beyond stoked to do this. I know a bunch of you are like, don't do it, don't do it. We're doing it. Uh, what's going on here? We have uh, on the bottle, Malort, uh, Yepsen's Malort Liquor. Carl Yepsen, Chicago Brewing Company. It's 35 uh, alcohol by volume, so it's 70 proof. That's it. CH Distillery, Chicago, Illinois. It was originally brewed in Chicago, and eventually it went away. It was brewed in Kentucky for a spell, and I believe Florida for a bit. And then um, 2019, it went back to Chicago, so we got a real deal going on here. Um... I've heard very various flavor profiles on this, but I will reserve my own for this. But I did want to cover a couple different things. One, um, what is Malort? Malort is basically, so you've heard of absinthe. Um, um, it, it's kind of like a direct relative of absinthe because it uses wormwood. And in absinthe, you have thujone, I think I'm pronouncing that right, which is the hallucinogenic in there. Um, and if you've ever kind of deep dived on absinthe it's usually it's not like you just drink absinthe you know you, you there's a whole ritual to it for a lot of people there's sugar cubes and almost like heroin like kind of romanticism to it to make it palatable um so what i know there's more to it than this what this is is strip the hallucinogenic funness of wormwood the thijon portion of the show and just make it just bittering not pleasantness. I'm in. Um, the I don't even think it's like the 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 what's the word the myth. The myth of it was like this. Uh, Carl Jepsen could basically he couldn't taste anything. That's why this tastes the way it tastes because he just needed to taste something, which is just even more electrically fantastical. And before I crack open this, I just wanted to read off, because they, you know, they're a small company, they always have been, whether they're bought and sold by whoever, they lean on the public a lot of times for things. And one of the things they leaned on the public for were catch lines or catchphrases about their liquor over the years, and these are some of the ones that they've personally endorsed. Malort, tonight's the night you fight your dad. <laughs> Malort, the champagne of pain. Uh, Malort turning taste buds into taste foes for generations. Uh, drink Malort. It's easier than telling people you have nothing to live for. Malort. What soap washes it, washes it mouth out with? Um, Malort. These pants aren't going to shit themselves. Um, Malort. The authentic taste of social distancing. And last but not least. Malort. 
pumpkin spice for sadists. Sadists, not sadists. Sadists would be weird. So let's just crack into this and let's get into this. So I have, let me do this. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. I got a, I got a sidecar just because I'm weak and it might not work. Ooh, my battery's getting recording's getting hot. But I figured I'd do, you know, a little Chicago um, sidecar in case it gets a little bit too craptastic under here. Let's see. I'm going to turn my little fans on. These little fans that cool my um, camera down. Anyway, let's get back to the show. Put that over there. Got a nice little... I can't believe I'm doing this in like a, a dram. Way too much. Poured way too much. I'm in all the trouble. Okay. Watch, watch me like this stuff. Anyway. I mean... You know, what does that look like? It, honestly, it looks like straight whiskey. By straight whiskey, I mean like non-barrel whiskey. So it looks like, you know, scotch, whiskey, all that stuff before it hits a barrel. It has this kind of, um, you know, uh, glow to it that looks almost white Sinfandeli, um, white winey um, to a sense. It's really not much there as far as color or anything like that. It's good nose. I'm not going to lie to you. Aromatically, it doesn't smell that bad. It does come off a little bit caustic. Um, you know, a couple people, I've read a couple things. This is most research I've done for anything I think, before I um, reviewed anything. Uh, but I did a um, uh, research. It was like a Jason Sedaris was in a movie that he had to drink the Lord, and he said it smelled like a, or tasted like a burnt, a condom on fire filled with gasoline i think that's the way but it there's been a lot of quotes along those lines of that but i'm not gonna lie to you aromatically it doesn't smell that bad it smells like you know a cutty sarky kind of level of scotch it doesn't really come off super caustic there's a little bit of band-aid there a little bit of latex a um, little bit of burniness but honestly aromatically it's it's not horrific i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god i can't believe i'm about to drink this i can't believe i'm about to drink this cheers y'all Really? Y'all make up, make too much shit up. I'm not going to say I like this, but this isn't like, like caustic, like I'm going to throw up stuff. It's not pleasant by any stretch of imagination. It's not that bad, either. I can see this actually being quite fun to use in some kind of mixer. It's aggressively bittering. I mean, aggressively bittering. Um, and there is this... There is this kind of... This plasticiness to it. And I get that. You know, people talking about, you know, latex condom or burnt and gasoline and all that kind of... Because that's all petroleum-based stuff. And there is this kind of weird petroleum-based thing to it. And I assume this is all just wormwood-based. But there's a sweet side of this sucker. I'm not trying to romanticize it either. It's interesting, and I'm trying to process it from a positive and negative light. See, there's this, the thing that really bothers me about it, and it's not there for the long haul. It's about halfway and three quarters. It's, it's, this is bad. Halfway to about three quarters, you get this pop of this caustic weirdness. That's the bad part. Like the actual initial taste of it isn't like bad. It's actually like an herbaceous kind of sweetness. I'll take a sip of this just so I can talk. Ah. 
Mm, coat that throat. And then you get that pos a pop of that caustic. And it's caustic. It's I get where that ca you know the gasoline portion of the comments come from. That's the part that really really sucks. It's it's like a, just a pop to, to your face of this just this bittering causticness that is a la you know just diesel fuel <laughs> kind of thing going on. And it washes away, and it, honestly, there's this there's this little fun little sweetness thing floating around in there that. When it finishes, it lingers. I know people say, well, it's, you'll hate it, but it's the hours after you drink it that are worse than the actual drink. I don't think this is going to linger all that long. I could be wrong. I drank a shot of it. And that, you know, most people bang a shot back, and that's it. I actually want to taste the cold hands. That's why I didn't bang back a whole shot. But it's one of those things where it's like, I get I get the hate for it. But I also get the love for it, you know. I, I think it's it's I think it's an in interesting liquor. I really do. I think it's something that is just, you know, you know, are we knee jerk reaction going? Do I like it? No, I don't like it. Like knee knee jerk, like no thinking about it. I like this. This flavor is fantastic. That's not what this thing is all about. That's not what it's all about. It's an interesting flavor experience. And I and and while I can see people, you know, let's put it this way. I land in Chicago, I go out and about a little too hard, I might be a little bit tipsy, and I go to a bar and someone's like, you gotta do Malort, I'm, I might throw up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one of those things where, here, fresh, coming on, I did a couple beer reviews because I was like, well, I want to do beer reviews, do them before Malort, in case it's that bad. Um, you know, it's, it, it's not that bad. I can see, you know. Go to a Cubs game, have a bunch of beers, hot dogs, go to the bar. Oh, you've never been to Chicago before? you got to drink Malort. That's not good. That's not a good experience. Um, but that liquor in and of itself, just knowing what it is and getting into it, I think it's quite interesting. Um, Flavor-wise, I can't even really talk to you about it. Um, because it, it, outside of that caustic that little bit of diesel fuel gasoline thing, it's herbaceous. It's very much kind of what I would say would be a bad facsimile of... Of Ricola mixed with Jägermeister. I hear like a snowblower or something. Anyway, it's not snowing here. Um, so it has this weird herbal medicinal thing going on, but all on the bitter side of things. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, it's it's not. I don't think it deserves the rap that it gets. But at the same time, I can understand why it gets the rap that it gets. You know, this weird liquor that exists only in Chicago that is ultra romanticized and how dare you poop on on, on Malort um, but also like how dare you not poop on Malort because that's what we do kind of thing going on uh, label wise it's fantastic it's just ghetto you know as hell um, you know even on the back to this like this label all everything's crooked and you know it has the cap that you'd find from LaRue Blackberry Brandy like nothing about this is like premium um even the label's like a dot matrix thing. It's like not done well. Um, but that brings just more love and mystique to it. Certified fan. Let's put it that way. I like it. I can't wait to bring this around and make people drink it. Uh, I think that's part of its appeal for a lot of people. And um, in general, I, it, honestly, it's been very much a bucket list for, thing for me to check off. Just like I said, you know, this stack of magazines that y you see here, like. You know, like, this is actually my newest issue. This is the magazine I was talking about. Uh, it's a satire magazine. It's probably one of the best magazines. I bet you, this is the newest one. I bet you I flip in here and I can probably find a Malort ad. Um, just because that's how they roll. Um, but I'm not going to because that would be boring for you. But, um, you know, from, from finding out about it, from, you know, decades ago to almost lusting around it um, to finally having it. I'm super appreciative to actually do it. So thank you very much, George, for this. Um, I owe you a bucks. I'll send it over to you. Um, and, um, and, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know what else you want me to say. This is one of the better Malorts that I've had as late. Mount Rushmore status. Value and availability, 20 bucks from Chicago. Someone's going to pick it up and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like flavor experiences. Mm. Spoil it up that way. You will like this. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Malort, Yepsen's Malort. Have you been to the Yepsen's Malort distillery? Have you had a bunch of Yepsen's Malort distillate products? I think they made one other thing, and I think they actually made a bourbon that, surprisingly, I read got really good reviews. Um, what are your thoughts? Have you had Malort? Do you like it? 
Do you hate it? Do you not hate it to like it or anything in between? I want to know all your experiences in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying something new and interesting. That's the point of all this. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.